Welcome to Scholarly Snapshots, the channel that makes peer-reviewed research accessible. We take complex studies and break them down into simple, digestible bites, covering a wide range of topics. Whether you're a student, a scholar, or just someone who's curious about the world, join us as we dive into the world of scholarship together. Today, we're going to be discussing knowledge representation and perceptual simulation in cognitive science. In this video, we will summarize three sections of a research paper by Lawrence W. Barcelou, Karen Alseth Solomon, and Ling Ling Wu titled Perceptual Simulation in Conceptual Tasks. Firstly, the paper discusses two different approaches to knowledge representation, emodal symbol systems and perceptual symbol systems. Emodal symbol systems assume that information from the physical world produces neural states in perceptual systems, which are transduced into arbitrary and emodal symbols. On the other hand, perceptual symbol systems suggest that subsets of perceptual states are extracted and function symbolically to support higher cognitive functions. Perceptual symbols are modal and analogical, and similarity between them corresponds to similarity between perceptual states. While emodal symbol systems have been dominant in modern times, perceptual symbol systems have been central to cognitive linguistics and are being rediscovered by researchers in psychology, philosophy, and artificial intelligence. The second section of the paper explores the possibility that people process concepts by simulating their reference perceptually rather than using emodal symbol systems. The researchers test this by asking subjects to perform conceptual tasks using linguistic stimuli without pictorial stimuli or perceptual processing. The study found that subjects produced extensive numbers of situation, introspective, and taxonomic features, indicating that they situated objects environmentally, introspectively, and taxonomically. The results provide evidence for the use of perceptual simulation, with instructional equivalents and perceptual work observed for familiar and novel noun phrases. Lastly, the paper discusses an experiment testing the role of perceptual factors in property verification tasks. The experiment found that when false properties were associated with concepts, perceptual measures accounted for the most variance in reaction times. The experiment also found evidence of instructional equivalence and perceptual work in both conditions, implicating the central role of perceptual simulation in conceptual tasks. Overall, this research provides evidence for the use of perceptual simulation in conceptual processing, suggesting that subsets of perceptual states are extracted and function symbolically to support higher cognitive functions. These findings have important implications for cognitive science, psychology, philosophy, and artificial intelligence. That's it for this episode of Scholarly Snapshots. We hope you enjoyed learning something new today and that our simplified summary helped you understand the research a little better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.